Greetings, I'm Rob Chappers. And I'm the captain. And Addertons has magically been transportalated to Maplewood Studios in yes. East Peckham. Yes, in our TARDIS that we bought the other day. Yes. Um, so it's actually 1973 and we're in... E no, it's not. Um, <laughs> I wish it was. I wish it was. I wouldn't have been born. I'd be one. Would you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some Cornford amplifiers. Yeah, Cornford, who, funnily enough, aren't uh, a million miles from uh, East Peckham in Kent. They're from Whitstable in Kent. Um, and as you guys know, Cornford is a, a manufacturer of some very high-quality, uh, hand-wired, British-made amplifiers. Amazing products like the... Mark 50 um, Mark 50 Carrera. Mark II, Carrera. Hurricane. Hellcat. Hellcat. Oh, I had a Hellcat. Mm. I took it to Abbey Road. It dominated all. <laughs> so, and guys like uh, Guthrie Govan, Richie Cotson, you know, some yeah, no one really. players. Yeah, no one really. Just sort of, you know, demo B-side players. Um, so, uh, anyway, a few years ago, uh, in, a, in an effort to make the Cornford range a bit more affordable and more accessible to some um, players that didn't maybe have, you know, 1,500, 2,000 pounds to spend on an amplifier, uh, Paul and <coughs> Martin from Cornford designed a printed circuit board version. So you guys... It's really the only difference, generally, isn't it? Yeah, so you guys appreciate that um, if you have a hand-wired amplifier, you, get, you know, each, per, each a person has to sit and wire all the components together. It adds hours and hours onto the production time. Yawn. Printed circuit board, basically, uh, you basically you, you design it, you order them from a factory, they turn up, and when you're building the amplifiers, you just plonk them in, and obviously it cuts hours and hours off the production time. So the Roadhouse series uh, was born from that. Other than that, they're identical to the hand-wired, so same factory uh, in uh, the UK, same chassis, same cabinetry. Same knobs, same bits. Uh, importantly, same Celestian Vintage 30 speakers mm. in them, uh, just printed circuit board. Now, as a result, um, the Roadhouse actually ended up being quite an expensive printed circuit board amplifier when you compared it to lots of the, say, the, the Marshalls and the Black Stars and the Fenders and things that were being made uh, in the Far East. And what so, did they used to retail for? So these would have been, the, I've got, to, there are four amps in the Roadhouse series. Essentially, there's a 30 watt available in a 1x12 combo or a head or a 50 watt available in a 2x12 combo or a head. And they would have sold, I think the, the 30 watt combo was about 800 pounds, the 212.50 was about 1,000 pounds. And bearing in mind that these are basically single channel amplifiers, no reverb, just with single channel with a boost, that, that was, that was a, a little expensive. And most people, once they perhaps looked at Roadhouse series, thought, you know what, I might as well just spend a little bit extra and get hand wired. It's worth saying it was a fair price for the quality that yep. you're getting. I mean, it's really well, you great can't, quality. You can't build anything in the UK <clears throat> and it be as competitive no. as Far Eastern. So anyway, after three or four years of, of the Roadhouse being an okay selling amplifier, but not an amazing selling amplifier, um, we've just done a deal to... Captain has yeah, saved the day. To, to basically buy the remaining uh, Roadhouse stock, so all the, the, the printed circuit boards they have made, and offer you these amplifiers at a stunning price. Wait for it. Drum roll. Of £499 oh! for the 30 watt head, £599 for the 1x12 oh! 30 watt combo, £599 for the 50 watt head, and £699 for the 50 watt 212 combo. It's got to change my trousers and okay. So there we are. So yes, you may have seen these amplifiers in videos before, but we've never really done a proper focus on them. So if you like what you hear and you fancy one of these, um, you'll need to be quick because there aren't thousands of these left to sell. How many have you got? Uh, 50, 60, something like that. Is that, that. it? Mm. They're going to fly like an eagle. I think they will. Um, so not much else to tell you about the spec on these. These are um, 6L6 loaded amplifiers. They're, they're, they're both essentially the same uh, tube selection here. We've just got a louder version on the 50. Um, well, we, what we can say is, and you're going to hear this in the plane, but basically they are your archetypal bluesy, crunchy rock amplifiers. They're not really mm. made for metal, although you could mm. if you put a pedal in front, but you don't really want to do that. It, Paul Cornford always used to describe his sound as like a transatlantic sound. So it was kind of like it was, it was the British basic tone, so like that sort of martially grunty sort of tone, but with the extra saturation maybe and a bit more bass end that you'd get from an American amplifier. Something you'll notice as a player is that for some reason the feedback is very musical and when you hold and sustain a note it always comes through really fast yeah. and it's just a musical sounding feedback. It kind of adds, yeah. it doesn't kind of squeal and just be painful to you. So we'll start with the 30 1x12. Um, we've got some pedals here. 
I don't know that we'll be using many of them. Essentially, the amplifier is, as I said, it's a two, it's a single channel amplifier with a boost switch. So the, the switch comes with it. Rob's got the boost switch. The boost the adds gain. Gain and volume. Yeah. yeah. And it's controllable on the amp. We'll do a sweep over so you can see, but you've got a control for the boost channel. Not going to use a lot of reverb. We've got a delay pedal with us, so we might put a bit of delay through one of the combos. And we've got a couple of pedals on the floor down here from yesterday's videos, which is the, the Katana, Katana Boost. And the Color Mazoo. Yeah. And I think all we're going to use in this demo is the Katana Boost to go over and above the boost channel on yeah. the corn for just to really kind of kick it into some sort of super saturated. Yeah, you stuff. don't really need it, but it's just nice. Should mention we're still on the clean channel or we're still on you know essentially <coughs> there's no such thing as clean and dirty channel on this is there we've got the gain wound up to just past halfway so yeah, yeah. you'd have to back the gain <coughs> a little if you wanted it completely clean. well i'll show you that on the guitar now if i yeah. bring it Probably worth saying that would probably be your main reason to go up to the 50 was if you wanted a little headroom. bit more headroom before the amp started to break up. Uh, but the, yeah, the 30 will break up. I think you get you'll get a clean gigging sound, but yeah. you won't get that Fender kind of like <coughs> mega big clean gigging. To be sound. honest, I never use a clean sound gigging. <laughs> you believe that? Honestly, you bluesy rock dudes, it just I roll agree. it off and get a, a cleany yeah. type crunch. Yeah. I don't like a crystal clean. If you want a crystal clean, buy Fender. Yeah. Sounds great, doesn't it? It does sound Sounds good. Sounds proper. Yeah. Proper pub gigging amp. I want to do that again, it's so good. Uh, <laughs> the reason we were laughing is because the little Made in England badge was vibrating on top of this cab like it was having some kind it of. It was having some, <laughs> some kind of, uh, you know, I've drunk some Mountain Dew type liquid and I can't take the power anymore. The caffeine and sugar is destroying my body. Proper amply. Yeah, that sounds great. Put it That's on that proper pickup, amp for the money as and well. And we just kick the katana boost on the front of well, the back on the, pickup. On the bridge pickup. A oh, bridge. Yeah.
big one? As, do it. <laughs> I want to hear the big one, Lee. I want to hear the big one. So, right. Look, hold on, before we move on to the big one, though, six L six. Yeah. Corn for construction. Yeah. UK made. UK made. What's the price? Uh, Four ninety nine for the head and five ninety nine for the combo. Who else has these to sell? No one. No one. <laughs> and just whilst we're talking about the head as well, uh, there there's a Cornford cab that they make as part of the hand wired series uh, which is a 212 with vintage loaded uh, vintage 30 loaded speakers in uh, which you can buy in black if you want to to match with the roadhouse kind of look for 499 pounds but when i spoke to cornford and i said i think that's probably going to be too expensive you know a 499 pound cab to go with a 499 pound head can we do anything here? They said, look, if we change the Vintage 30 speakers for the Celestian 7080 speakers, we can get the price down to 349 for wow. the same cab. So I've bought, I've ordered some <clears throat> of those. So if you are if you like the idea of having a head with 212 um, cabinet rather than a combo, and uh, do look out for, we've called it just a Roadhouse 2x12 on our website. And is the 2x12 open back or closed back? Um, that's a good question. I think it's open back. I had an open back tuba tough Cornford cab, and it was unreal. Quite a lot of the time on the Cornford stuff, and again, I, we, I don't know whether I might have to confirm this before we put all this in the video. That's all right. Um, That's how we is, fly here yeah, in Anderton. It's quite. I know. I certainly know. It's one of the options there has been on the Cornford is that is that you can essentially have a removable oh, panel the on the back, yeah. so it can be closed back, or you can take that out, and it's like half open. Yeah. Uh, but I can't remember whether or not the Roadhouse 212 cabinets are going to be that or not. Well, a quick so, story about my 212 uh, cab. On, I took it to Abbey Road. I recorded an EP with Nick Tauber, who produced Def Leppard and Thin Lizzy, and he literally said, "This is a great sounding cab." High praise indeed. That sounds like Mark Boland T-Rex. That's, that's <laughs> it does. Of...
That is an amazing, amazing amplifying sound of goodness <sighs> and clarity and joy. Yeah, they're good amps. I know um, because this is like a finite deal as well. I know that there's a, a finite deal. Yeah, this where well, another when it ends, they, they're gone. They're gone. It ends. Um, I know there's probably about three times as many of the 30 watt PCBs as there are of the 50 watt ones. So if if your heart's set on a 50, you probably need to act a bit quicker than if you decide you fancy a 30. So I, I expect you'd probably like to see a whole plethora of other guitar players coming in and doing their thing. Including Captain. Yeah, maybe including me. I'll have to see how good the other ones are. I think we'll summon a giant Afro dude called Beer, who plays guitar with me. Cool. And uh, Dan, friend of Sticks, and Captain, who's Captain. Thank <laughs> you. 